Beetle fans, this is Tammy. I am here with Memphis and Jopl or Memphis and Jopl <laughs> litter of F1 Sheep and Doodles. You've probably seen a lot of changes in them this week. They're get, they're really active. They're walking really well. Obviously, they're playing. They're interacting with each other. They're barking at each other. They're, you hear little growls. That's completely normal. That's just part of their communication. They love to be in your lap. They love to play with you. They love to crawl on you and they love attention. They had their first bath this week. They tolerated that really well. We do it really gently. You just want to get them used to baths since they're a breed of dog that has to have regular grooming. They had their second nail trim. Actually, it's their third nail trim. So their nails aren't too sharp and they don't hurt mom too much. <laughs> They're really sharp, starting to show their personalities now. They, um, it's nice having a smaller litter, which for a sheep the doodle, eight is a smaller litter because they don't have to fight for, uh, for everyone to be able to nurse at mom with a smaller litter. You don't have an overly submissive puppy who's kind of been pushed around by the other puppy. So you don't have one who's really dominant, who's had to really push it around. around. They're all just really well-rounded, happy-go-lucky puppies. Really? So we, as you notice, they're in a bigger enclosure this week, a bigger play area. They really like the extra room. They really get playing hard and, and race around in here. Uh, we'll start adding some crates in there this week just for them to get used to. When we clean their play area, which we try to do two, two times a day or more, if they get it dirtier, we have two crates that we put to the side that they spend about an hour in those crates. And we, we leave them in there while we clean on purpose. It just gets them used to being in a crate uh, it makes it a familiar and a safe environment. So they're in it, they know it's safe because mom's right here, their siblings are right here. So it just becomes a comfortable place for them to be. But we'll put crates in here this week so they can start to nap in there and hang out in there. We'll also put their um, a little sensory enrichment play gym in here this week. I just have to build it. I had to go get some new parts. But this is my favorite age of puppies. They're, when they just really start to explore things and show their personalities and you can just see their little minds learning things. We'll start to take them out this week one at a time. Take them where they can't see mom and the siblings and just work on little things. Just um, we'll do positive reinforcements and work on a sit and like a one or two second stay. Just little commands just to get them in that mode of, of learning from you and getting a treat or a positive reinforcement for doing something that you want them to do. They're pretty sassy. And that's good. They all have really just good personalities. You'll notice this week, you probably have noticed mom not spending as much time in here. She has a little cubby she likes to lay in under there where it's nice and cool. So she's still, she's a very attentive mom. She still likes to be in here with the puppies. She still nurses them, not nearly as much, but she still nurses them. But she's spending time away in a place where she can still get close watch over them. They're eating really well. They eat their mush um, and they eat just, they eat very well. They really like it. They almost clear their bowl. They leave almost nothing left for mom to eat. 